Welcome to 52 Questions, my creative exploration for 2018. I'm Shannon Weber, director of Hive. Every year, Hive answers hundreds of questions from patients, their partners, and providers. We're taking some of those frequently asked questions and turning them into a once weekly video about a sexual or reproductive health issue and sharing them with you. Have a question? Let us know. We'd love to answer it. So what's the question for this week? Question number two, does U equals U apply to pregnant, living with pregnant women living with HIV? First of all, what is U equals U? The Prevention Access Campaigns, Undetectable Equals Untransmittable started in the summer of 2016, and it's a growing community of global HIV advocates, activists, researchers, with a consensus statement that has been signed by the CDC and over 550 organizations in 70 countries. All of these folks are united to clarify and disseminate the revolutionary but largely unknown fact that people living with HIV on effective treatment do not sexually transmit HIV. Review last week's video for a complete review of the science behind U equals U. So what do we know about how U equals U may or may not apply to perinatal HIV transmission. In so many ways, what we know about the power of antiretroviral treatment for the reduction of sexual transmission was learned in the early days of perinatal HIV transmission. As early as the late 90s, uh, HIV testing was used to identify women living with HIV who are pregnant. And when antiretroviral therapy was given during labor and delivery, there was a dramatic reduction in HIV transmission. This remarkable decline in perinatal HIV transmission has been called one of the greatest public health success stories in the United States. Each year, between 8,000 and 9,000 women living with HIV give birth. The CDC reports that in 2013, which is the last year for which we have complete data, that there were 69 perinatal HIV transmissions. And this is down from 216, about a decade earlier. In fact, here in San Francisco, there has not been a baby born with HIV since 2005. This huge success can be linked to four key interventions. First, routine prenatal HIV screening, meaning every pregnant woman is offered an HIV test. Two, rapid testing at labor and delivery for women without a documented test or who have ongoing exposure to HIV. Three, antiretroviral therapy for the mom and antiretroviral prophylaxis for the infant. And four, infant replacement feeding or avoiding breastfeeding. For many years in the US, we have been comfortable telling women living with HIV that they take their medications and have an undetectable viral load, provide antiretrovirals to their infant, after delivery and avoid breastfeeding that there is a less than 1% chance of passing on HIV to an infant. This is down from a 25% risk without any intervention, that rate going up if breastfeeding is included. While U equals U and perinatal HIV success are really about the hard science, I'm reluctant to answer this question without also giving some context for women living with HIV's lived experiences with repro their reproductive health. The Positive Women's Network USA published a report in 2013 called Unspoken, Sexuality, Romance, and Reproductive Freedom for Women Living with HIV in, in the United States. This important report was written by and about women living with HIV and is just one of the sources that documents the compelling data about the discrimination women living with HIV have faced regarding pregnancy forced sterilization, higher rates of tubal regret, lack of preconception care, and stigma from providers related to their reproductive desires. All of these injustices are higher for women of color. So what's next? Given what we know about the success of perinatal HIV transmission and the context of how women living with HIV have experienced reproductive health. I believe what's next is for us to develop and use 
clear and truthful language that accurately depicts the science of HIV and pregnancy. Here's what we tell women at Hive Clinic. Here's what we know, taking your HIV medications, maintaining an undetectable viral load before pregnancy and throughout pregnancy, avoiding breastfeeding and providing antiretroviral medications as prescribed by the doctor to your infant nearly eliminates the risk of HIV transmission. All women and their partners deserve to know the science and the truth behind U equals U and the truth about HIV and pregnancy. We can welcome conversations with women living with HIV about pregnancy or their choices not to become pregnant. Thanks for tuning in. Join me next week where we'll answer the question, does U equals U apply to women living with HIV during breastfeeding? Thanks for joining and have a great week.